Hello students, good morning. Today we will discuss about the examples of uh, chapter 2nd of 11 science. Right now I have uh, some of the printouts already available to me from the textbook uh, for better understanding and for better calculations. So you can also have such type of copies. So first of all I can have uh, the example number 1, 2.1 into that I have just some of the sub examples. The very first one is that the volume of a cube of a one centimeter side is equivalent to how much meter cube so i have to find it out my volume so first of all they have just given you that uh, volume of the cuboid so you are aware that volume of cuboid is called as a l cube so volume of uh, let's say cube so my length is called as a centimeter and they want my answer in the terms of a meter cube so you are aware when we have learned that uh, power of 10 to convert from smaller unit to the larger unit. So what I am doing is that first of all converting it. My length is at 1 centimeter. So 10 to the power minus 2 sorry 10 to the power minus 2. It's a cube. So I can have a 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. So this is the answer of my first one. My volume in the terms of meter that would be 10 to the power minus 2 and it's a cube so that would be 10 to the power minus 6. After that I have uh, my volume of a surface area of a solid cylinder of a radius r. So r it is called as a radius and that is uh, given to me it is called as a 2 centimeter. So first of all I want my answer in the terms of a millimeter. So that would be 20 millimeters and my height it is a small h that is again in the terms of a centimeter so i am just putting 100 millimeter you are aware that whenever we are going to the larger to smaller units our power is incremented so centimeter is containing 10 to the power minus 2 meters and millimeter contains 10 to the power minus 3 so i am just going from the centimeter is higher compared to the millimeter part my area of cylinder is uh, 2 pi r multiply by r plus h so that is called as a symbol of a that is a 2 22 by 7 for better calculation i have just placed that uh, 22 by 7 my radius r that is called as uh, 20 again my radius is a 20 and height would be 100 so i can have an area that is called as a 44 by 7 multiply by 20 you can say 880 and I have a 120 so my area would be I have calculator available to me you can just also calculate by such type of data my area would be 150 85 millimeters square so you can calculate such type of calculations so these are the very simplest simple type of examples third type of example they have asked in the subcategory uh, i have just given that a vehicle is moving with the speed of 18 km per hour and covers some distance and the time has been given to me that is called as a one second so what they want is that what distance i have covered so first of all you are aware about the expression of a speed it is called as a s and that is given to me in the terms of a kilometer per hour and the time they have mentioned the terms of a second so first of all i have to convert this one in the terms of a meter per second so always have a habit directly you can just say that 5 divided by 18 that will convert your kilometer into meter an hour into second so you can have your speed s equals to 5 meter per second or initial level you can say that it is kilometer so you can say that thousand meters and second from hour to second that would be three six double zero seconds so zero zero cancel out and five and eighteen so it will be the same so always have your habit to convert your kilometer per hour in the terms of a meter per second 
and that will make your task very much easier so i want to find it out my distance so my equation of uh, speed distance upon time i want to find it out my distance equals to speed into time my speed i have found it out is called as a 5 meter per second and my time is called as a 1 second so i got that my distance is equals to 5 meter if you remember so in the clip of uh, finding out the dimensional configurations and units i have told you that okay you can just also convert such type of thing and you can find it in our unknown thing let's say you are not aware about that uh, unit of a distance so you can say second second cancel out the meter is left with you so such type of mathematical calculations are also there available to you whenever you are calculating such type of data now i have been given that another good example and that is called as my relative density of a lead is 11.3 and it's a density i have to find it out in terms of a gram and kilogram so this is a new data for you so first of all i am just mentioning all those configurations which is given to me that is called as a density it is called as a relative density so i am mentioning that relative density as a symbol of a rho density symbol is rho and it is called as a relative that is why rho r now they have just asked me that density of lead i am mentioning that rho of l and i am always comparing such type of density with the density of water so i am mentioning that density of water is equals to rho of w so this contains relative always compares with the another one so it is called as a ratio of uh, whichever metal given to you with compared to the water always remember it is called as a density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube this is the ideal value you have to remember now what i am doing is that taking all those data i want to find it out the density of a lead so that would be a cross multiplication so i can have a rho of l is equals to relative density multiplied by density of water in my example they have mentioned me relative density is 11.3 and that is in the terms of i have to find it out my answer in terms of gram and kilogram as well so i am using it so relative would be 11.3 and this is called as a 1 relative does not contain any type of unit because if you place that relative density means it is containing either unit kilogram per meter cube or kilogram per meter cube both will be cancel out so relative does not contain any unit that is why i haven't mentioned any unit over here but uh, relative i mean so density of a water is given that is called as a 1 gram per centimeter cube so i got that relative density of a lead is 11.3 gram per centimeter cube now i want my answer in terms of kilogram per meter cube because they have also asked me that kilogram per meter cube so you can see that this is the kilogram per meter cube they have asked me so from the smaller to larger unit i have to go so to convert to kilogram per meter cube sorry meter cube so i am just doing that 11.3 gram can be converted to 10 to the power minus 3 centimeter is converted to meter so 10 to the power minus 2 and it's a cube so i can have a 11.3 10 to the power minus 3 multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 minus 6 is going in the numerator so i can have a 11.3 10 to the power minus 6 is plus 6 now plus 6 minus 3 so that is why i have 11 10 to the power 3 if you want one more power so first of all i am mentioning my unit so this is actually my answer in the terms of a kilogram per meter cube or you can say that 1.13 cross 10 to the power 4 kilogram per meter cube 
so this is another method whenever you have a power you can convert such type of power by giving your power to the your 10 power so i have just mentioned that my fractional point decimal point given to the letter part so both method are useful sometimes your answer will be given in terms of like this one so learn how to just raise your power so if you want that 11.3 10 to the power 3 if you want that 113 then power will be 10 to the power 2 so such type of conversions are there so remember such type of conversions so this is your exercise example number 2.1 now next will be 2.2 in the 2.2 they have asked us something new thing for us and that is actually not a new thing some of the data which we have already learnt so very first thing is that first of all they want one kilogram meter square per second square and that would be converted into the term of a gram centimeter square second square so this is the let's say x number that would be gram centimeter square second square whenever such type of data you is given to you you can assume x over here and convert or you can just say that directly you are aware that uh, i am putting the same value i want to go from kilogram to the gram i want to go to the kilogram to the gram then meter to centimeter so what i am doing is that i am going from higher to the lower unit kilogram contains 10 to the power 3 grams meter contains 10 to the power 2 centimeter and it's a square and there is a no need for the second part so you can just say that 1 10 to the power 3 but i am just already mentioning that second square because they have mentioned so i can have a 10 to the power 3 gram 10 to the power 4 centimeter square divided by second square so you can have a 10 to the power 7 gram centimeter square second square that is the value of a one kilogram meter square per second square in future you will also learn that remember that is called as a unit of a joule it is actually a unit of a joule one joule equals to 10 to the power 7 that is a called as a erg this is mks unit of energy and this one would be CGS unit of energy. So whenever in the future you will ask about such type of examples or values, remember that. So I am mentioning that Mentos khao, Dimaki Bhatti Jalao. So this is the actually kilogram meter square per second square is basically if you can uh, check it out our clip containing unit and dimensional configuration you can find it out such type of data which is also mentioning that uh, what type of thing you have so this is how you can calculate it out so this is a joule this is arg this is higher unit this is smaller unit that is where power is a plus later what we will also learn that from lower to the higher part you can say that uh, vice versa so one arg equals to how many joules so you can say that 10 to the power minus 7 so this is the one type of a cross conversion now we want to convert that another part that is called as a meter equals to light year first of all it is a very first conversion that people are always misinterpret this thing light year is one unit of actually a distance not the velocity so Whenever they are asking such type of thing, always careful. Second one, one meter equals to how many light years? Basically, light years you are aware about. Light year is called as a 9.46 cross 10 to the power 15 meters. This is how we have just learned that. It is mentioned as a LY. So I want that my answer in terms of LY. So I have to convert this in terms of a meter. One meter equals to how many light years? So what I'm doing is that one meter equals to one divided by 9.46, 10 to the power 15 meters. Basically, this is called as a, my distance covered by the light, velocity of light. If you remember such type of formula, we have this uh, value, uh, distance CT. 
this is called as a 3 cross 10 to the power 8 meter per second and this is the time I have just mentioned that 365.25 days 24 hours and 3600 seconds that is how we have just found it out so 1 meter is equals to I have is this much of a light here so 10 to the power 15 is going in the numerator and 1 upon 9.46 I can have a 1.057 and I am just increasing one power so this is the distance covered in the terms of a light here so this is actually our distance third one is given to me that is called as I have uh, 3 meter per second square and I want to convert in the terms of a kilometer per hour square so you are aware that I am converting my smaller to the larger unit. So meter is converted to 10 to the power minus 3 kilometers. And second is there. Second to the conversion is called as a hour. So 1 upon 3600 second is now converted into the terms of a hour. So I can just say that 1 upon 3600 and that is how it is called as a hour square. So I can have uh, 3, 10 to the power and I get it's a square. So I am putting a square over here. That is 1 upon, this is the conversion. So 1 upon 3600 square, it is called as a hour square. Because they have mentioned second square. So I am mentioning that uh, second to hour is called as a 1 upon 3600 hours. So this is square that is why I'm putting square multiply by three six double zero is a square kilometer square divided by hour square so I can have a this is the value of a three this is the value of kilometer and that is called as a kilometer only and this is hour square so I can have a value that is called as a three meter per second square this is how entire label calculated will give me that uh, value over here 3600 multiply by again 3600 then multiply by 3 this will give me 3.888 so I'm just converting 3.888 cross 10 to the power 4 kilometer per hour square you can see on the screen that there are uh, 3 and 3, 6 and something will be there. So that is called as a 3, 6, double, 0 and 10 to the power minus 3's power is also there. So this is how it has been converted. Now next one. It has given me the value of a capital G. Capital G is a 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square, kilograms square and I want that in terms of uh, such type of data. So first of all, I am doing that, all those things putting over here. So my data is that 1 means capital G is called as a gravitational constant. Its value has been given to me and that is 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 and that is called as a Newton meter square divided by kilogram square I have to convert this value and find it out the centimeters cube divided by second square and that is called as a gram both are in a numerator that is why they have mentioned that 10 to the power minus 2 if you see that uh, this is the data this is the data they have mentioned to me so I am just using such type of data I am just putting those two in the denominator that is why my power is being converted to the negative to positive because I have just taken it and placed into the denominator so first of all what I am doing is that uh, putting that 1 in Newton Newton is a unit of a kilogram meter per second square it is the unit of a force it is a mentioned in terms of a name of the scientist so that is why I always remember that it is a 1 Newton it is called as a kilogram meter per second square so first of all instead of a Newton I am putting all those things so I have a 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 Newton is called as a kilogram meter 
per second square into the meter square and kilograms square. So first of all I am just cancelling all those extra part. So my unit now I have 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 meter cube divided by 1 kilogram left second square left. Now you can see that there is a resemblance of a centimeters cube now it is called as a meter cube second square second square kilogram gram so always have a habit whenever such type of uh, extra units it is called as a derived units you are aware about fundamental and derived units such type of derived units are there always convert to our standard mks or cgs conversion now it is quite easy for you to convert all those things so now i am just putting all those things over here likewise i have already just uh, written so i am just mentioning over here again so i can have a 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 that is meter cube kilogram second square i want to convert such type of unit from the higher to the lower unit because as per my standard what they have asked me is that this is the higher unit from the higher to the smaller unit they want so these are the smaller units they want so i am just converting first of all values will be as it is meter meter can be having centimeter centimeter is 10 to the power 2 and it's a cube so i am mentioning centimeter cube directly kilogram to i want to convert in the terms of a gram so i have a 10 to the power 3 there is no power so mentioning gram over here second square having no importance because second is second in either you will take mks or cgs it will be as it is so i'm putting that as it is so i can have 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 10 to the power 6 and i can have a centimeter cube and that is called as the 10 to the power 3 gram second square so i can have a 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube gram second square as you can see that your power in the numerator was a negative now i have just converted that power in the terms of your 10 to the power minus third 11 minus 3 that is called as a 10 to the power 6 so i can have a capital g is equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 14 and 10 to the power 6 that is called as a centimeter cube gram per second square that is why you can have a 6.67 base is same so i can have a 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter cube gram second square and as i have told you that uh, you can also remember such type of conversion because newton is also part of mks and i want to convert so always remember there is also direct conversion so i am putting that one mentors for you one newton is a 10 to the power 5 dime or you can say newton is something mks that is called as a kilogram meter per second square directly conversion will give me that uh, gram centimeter per second square so as i have told you for the joule one dyne is equals to 10 to the power minus 5 newtons so these are the two wide units widely and more overused whenever you are just using such type of conversions so uh, these are the all examples mentioned in a single example coming under the single roof so just solve it out and co convert such type of examples moving to the extra another examples that is called as example number 2.3 newton talkers in the 2.3 that is a very simple example but uh, for that you require some of the conversion concept first of all 
we are reading this concept a calorie is a unit of a heat energy and it is equal to the 4.2 joules basically calorie is another unit of energy 1 joule equals to that is called as a 1 kilogram meter square per second square so first of all i am just using that notation e is denoted as a symbol of energy it is called as a joule and it's called as a 1 kilogram meter per second square i am just giving that equation number 1 you can also use that word e1 or e basic units next one is that for the kilogram meter per second square or 1 kilogram meter per second square is having dimensional configuration m1 l2 t minus 2 now what they have asked us is that we are just converting and employing another system where another mass is alpha kilogram so this one for the first one so i am mentioning that for the first one in the another unit of a mass is called as alpha time of kilogram for the kilogram i am using that alpha time of m1 length is called as a beta time of meters so beta time of meters so beta length has been denoted meter that is why i am just putting that l1 previous one and my time t2 is called as a gamma times of second i am using that gamma time of a t1 so my dimensional configuration of entire this e2 will be alpha time of m1 its power is 1 beta time of l2 its power is 2 and gamma time of t2 its a sorry gamma time of power that is called as a t1 raised to minus 2 i am taking the ratio 1 divided by 2 so i can have a m1 l1 uh, raised to 2 and t1 raised to minus 2 same is the course alpha m1 raised to 1 then beta square l2 raised to 2 sorry l1 raised to 2 this is for the first one and then gamma that is raised to minus 2 same is the course t1 raised to minus 2 so what i have just mentioned is that cancel out of uh, timing and all those things so you can see that alpha is going in the numerator that is why minus 1 beta is going in the numerator that is why minus 2 gamma is minus already that would be the plus 1 so these are the things you have or uh, for another method i am just uh, also mentioning for you you can also try it out you can just say that n1 e1 is equals to n2 e2 we want to find it out n2 for the second one that is why you can say that n2 is equals to n1 e1 divided by e2 this is the even part this is the even part it's having number one that is why one so you can place one m1 l1 l1 is to 2 and t1 is to minus 2 and these are all are the values of e2 you can place over here so you can also get the same answer so these are the very simple method in front of you but this is how you have to learn as uh, as on now this is very initial methods so that is why quite comfort uh, you are not comfortable with but gradually by time passes you will be habitual by such type of methods now you have been given that explain statement clearly and to compare the dimensionalized quantity large or small is meaningless without specifying standard or comparison in the view of other it means that you have been given some of the statements and you have to just say that these statements are either higher lower smaller bigger heavier or lighter with comparison to what and you have to mention that so always that is called as a frame of reference it is called as a relative thing somehow you are in regular life facing that your percentages are lower but you are always compared with someone else that is why you can say your percentages is, is higher uh, or lower or maybe anything else you are taller or shorter with compared to some other quantities 
same is the course over here whenever you have comparison then and then you can say that uh, it is higher or lower or heavier or lighter otherwise it has been uh, clueless part so we are just using those data so first of all is in given to you is this part we have been given that atoms uh, are very small objects but atoms are very much small if we are comparing with the higher mass let's say i am taking 1 kilogram then your atoms will be look like very much smaller part that is why i have just placed a comparison jet plane moves with a great speed with compared to person walking so i have to just compare this thing the mass of a jupiter is very much large you can say that i am taking another small planet uranus with compared to uranus it is higher or larger one the air inside this room is obtains a large number of molecule compared to let's say i am just putting a container small container of a 1 mm by 1 uh, 1 meter by 1 meter size so you can see that this air inside the room contains large number of molecules now we have been given a proton is much more massive compared to the electron yes gradually you will learn its mass proton's mass is 10 to the 1.67 cross 10 to the power minus 27 kg and uh, mass of electron is a 9.1 cross 10 to the power 31 so mass of a proton is a 1.67 cross 10 to the power minus 27 kg and mass of electron is a 9.1 cross 10 to the power minus 31 kg this is the comparison they have mentioned so in a previous four there is no comparison that is why we were somehow clueless whether which one is a smaller or larger one but here they have mentioned already Uh, such type of comparison so this is already true all are true but we have to put from 1 to 4 we have to put some of the references but right now in the fifth one there is no need to put any type of reference the speed of a sound is much smaller compared to the speed of light yes definitely so this is these are the in the fifth one and sixth one they have mentioned such type of comparisons directly so that is the, there is no need that we have to compare so always some quantity is either larger or smaller is meaningless without we will put some reference so these are the primitive ideas now we we will have a example number 2.5 in the 2.5 you have been given that a unit of a length is a chosen such that speed of a light in a vacuum is a one unit you are aware that uh, it is called as a velocity of light in a vacuum basically it is a 3 cross 10 to the power 8 meter per second but they have mentioned that it is a unity whenever unity is there you have to place that one the distance between the sun and the earth we have to find it out and the time it has taken is a uh, 8 minute and 20 seconds so first of all you are aware that your data contains minute and second you have to convert this all those data in the terms of uh, seconds only so i am just taking 8 minutes multiply by 60 seconds plus 20 second is already there i have a 480 seconds plus 20 seconds so my time would be 500 seconds i want to find it out my distance so my equation is called as a c is equals to d by t i want to find it out my distance it is called as a ct as per data it is unity so c's value is 1 meter per second and time is of 500 seconds second will be cancel out so as i have told you that from such type of method you can also find it out data as well this is the distance i have is called as a 500 meters now i have another thing that is called as example number 2.6 a one year calipers of uh, 20 divisions and we have to find it out its scale next one is called as a screw gauge having pitch 1 mm and 100 divisions and third one is called as a optical instrument so we have to see that and find it out which instrument is very much accurate so first of all i am just uh, saying that the definition of accuracy is simple one you can say that whichever instrument measures 
एट वेरी लो वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड एक्यूरेट दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्यूरेसी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव वर्नियर कैलिपर्स दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल देर आर थ्री और फोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सर्च टाइप इन योर टेक्सट बुक दिज आर द प्रैक्टिकल टाइप ऑफ अप्रोच एग्जाम्पल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू वन मेंटोस मोमेंट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इट इज कॉल एज एन माइनस वन बाय एन इट इज कॉल एज अवर वी एस डी दिज आर द न्यू वर्ड फॉर यू तो आई एम पुटिंग दैट वर्ड्स फॉर यू इट इज कॉल एज अ वी एस डी इट इज कॉल एज अ वर्नियर स्क्रू और स्केल डिविजन एंड अनदर इज कॉल एज अ एम एस डी इट इज नॉट महेंद्र सिंह धोनी इट इज कॉल एज अ मीन स्केल डिविजन इन प्रैक्टिकल्स यू विल लर्न सच टाइप ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ वर्ड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑलवेज कंपेयर फॉर द वर्नियर कैलिपर्स एन माइनस वन एन मीन्स यू हैव बिन गिवन दैट ट्वेंटी डिविजन्स ट्वेंटी डिविजन ट्वेंटी माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी दैट इज वाई यू हैव नाइनटीन वी एस डी नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट तो दैट इज वन कन्वर्जन दैट इज कॉल एज अ वन माइनस नाइनटीन बाई ट्वेंटी इट इज कॉल एज अवर एम एस डी मीन स्केल डिविजन दैट इज कॉल एज अ ट्वेंटी माइनस नाइनटी डिवाइड बाई नाइनटी दैट इज वाई वन बाई ट्वेंटी इट इज ऑलवेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ मिलीमीटर बिकॉज वेन एवर यू विल यूज योर वन इयर कैलिपर्स इट इज सच टाइप ऑफ फैसिलिटी बट यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट दिस वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ सेंटीमीटर सो वन पावर इज इंक्रीमेंटेड इन द डिनोमिनेटर तो दैट इज कॉल एज अ सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज हाउ अवर वन इयर कैलिपर्स इज कैपेबिलिटी वुड बी देर सो आई हैव कैलकुलेटर आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग वन डिवाइड बाई टू हंड्रेड विल गिव मी फाइव क्रॉस टेन टू द पावर थ्री सो दिस इज द पावर ऑफ इट सो वन इयर कैलिपर्स विल कैपेबल इनफ टू मेजर सच टाइप ऑफ एरिया और सच टाइप ऑफ लेंथ थिकनेस नाउ अनदर वन आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड इट आउट फॉर अनदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज कॉल एज अ स्क्रू गेज सो यू कैन सी दैट स्क्रू गेज हैविंग द पिच सो वेन एवर यू आर अवेर अबाउट सच टाइप ऑफ योर स्क्रू यू आर अवेर अबाउट सच टाइप ऑफ टर्नस so first one second one this distance is called as a pitch to consecutive rolls so such is the thing you will learn in practical right now it is uh, useless to just discuss about the uh, such type of data so screw gauge having you have to just remember that is called as a distance of a pitch distance between the two consecutive patches divided by number of division it is the equation of it so you can say that pitch is given to you is 1 mm and divisions are 100 so 1 mm divided by 100 i want to convert this one in terms of centimeter so 1 divided by 1000 cm so you can have now 10 to the power minus 3 cm is the capability of your screw gauge you will learn about such type of instruments in the laboratory right now if i will just take you uh, this one is a very depth part you will be somehow feel boredom because of without instrument i cannot uh, justify such type of data but this is the practical formula such type of questions are already been asked in uh, your jwe and neat exams so always remember such type of formulas so for the uh, previous part uh, we have discussed is that uh, our one year calipers number of uh, divisions minus 1 upon n total and then it is again subtracted from the one that will give you that its capacity to measure the data then you have a screw gauge its formula is called as a pitch is called as a number of a two turns you can just say that such type of a spiral you have this is the first one and this is the second one so this distance is called as a pitch divided by number of divisions the such type of divisions are there so you will learn about uh, this instrument in lab as well there are number of uh, screw gauge which is having different different capabilities now the third data third thing we have to find it out is called as a, an optical instrument that can measure light 
to within the wavelength of light so first of all uh, it is called as a wavelength of light so i can just use that uh, wavelength of light it is basically one angstrom and in the 10th you have learned that uh, one angstrom is called as a 10 to the power minus 10 meters so i can just say that 10 to the power minus 7 centimeters because you are aware that meter to centimeter 10 to the power minus 10 meter centimeter means 10 to the power again i will give you some of the powers so 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter i want to just convert in the terms of uh, millimeter as well so i can have a 10 to the power minus 5 so its capacity is higher compared to the previous two parts so which instrument is having more and more or precise capability so you can say that wavelength of light is having higher and higher capacity so such is the power you have so in the next clips we will discuss about more examples thank you